Happy What I'm Warming Wax Wednesday. How you doing? Let me adjust because I can't just start a video and not adjust the camera. I can't check to see the camera angle before I start press the go button. Ridiculous. My name is Andrea and I sling some wax every once in a while. And I warmed a lot of wax over the past two or three weeks because Bring Back My Bar was a campaign that since he's got going over the month of July, 25 different scents. And I warmed through all of them. <laughs> it was a lot of wax. I'm not going to talk to you about every single one, obviously, because you'll be sleeping. That's, I mean, it's it, not that I find it boring. I find it very interesting, but it'll be too long. So I'm just going to give you a quick little few of the, for the past two or three days. Okay. So I have been warming rainbows and butterflies. Sorry about that. Does that feel good? I hope it does. Anyway. Rainbows and Butterflies is described as live the fantasy of fresh, strawber fresh strawberries, pineapple juice, and vanilla citrus. At first, I thought this was like sweet tarts. Then I thought it was like creamy starburst. You see the, you know, the pattern here that I'm addicted to food. And then my son said, hi, chews. <laughs> Have you ever had hi, chews? They're fabulous. It's like a creamy... Starburst. It's like a smushier starburst. Shade that for ten times fast. Smushy starburst. This is fabulous. It's fruity. It's candy-ish. I didn't find it to be very strong. So if you've got a smaller room, this is beautiful. It's perfect when you pair it up with the Stella the Unicorn warmer, which is the warmer of the month, and this is the scent of the month for the month of July. Anyway, so I warmed that. Um, I don't have any of the other clamshells because I did some, I, I did a lot of wax. Like I was warming lots and lots of wax. Hold on one second. Okay. Just needed to make sure that that wasn't my son texting me. Okay. So I finished a big ass clamshell of Berry Cosmo Boogie. It was a brick of wax. And uh, since he described it as sugared grapefruit, white cranberry, and raw sugar, wild berries it was tart sharp a little sour very strong it was absolutely perfect in my office where my cat's litter boxes are okay it covered up cat pee pee poo poo perfectly so if you have any <laughs> and you have animals it's perfect for um animal scent animal odor but unfortunately it's not available right now so um I don't know why I'm telling you about it because you can't get it. But listen, there are, you know, there, these things come back every once in a while. So if you know that you want that, go ahead and contact me. And I can, I have a, a, an app that I use for my customers' wish lists. And I can put you on my app and I can put that on your wish list. And the next time Berry Cosmo Boogie comes around, I can make sure that you get some of it. Okay. Uh, in my bedroom, I warmed both Woodland Suede. And then the next day I warmed Silhouette. This was last week, okay? Woodland Suede is described as tranquil wooded wonderland, redolent with red oak, smoky cedar, suede musk, and bright winter lemon. That's a lot of words. It smells like a woody guy. It's like woody, it's cologne but it doesn't have that cardamom, pepper, aftershave scent. It's very woodsy. Super, super woodsy. I loved it. I thought it was really strong. It stuck around. It had a lingering thing. It changed every six or seven hours. It was fabulous. It's very hard to describe. Woodsy, manly, romantic. Okay. I took woodland suede out of my warmers in order to warm silhouette because I like the romantic stuff in my bedroom. Yeah. Anyway. So Silhouette is described as heliotrope, which I don't know what that is, and orange blossoms with whispers of lavender and patchouli. Anything with patchouli is going to turn me on, just so you know. Okay, so I read that description and I went, oh yeah, I want that. And then I opened up the clamshell and I smelled it cold and I said, oh yeah, I want that. And I was so disappointed in the wax. I, and I don't know if I was... Well, I didn't know if I was disappointed in it because I was, it was following Woodland Suede because Woodland Suede was so fabulous and fantastic, right? 
and woodland suede was so strong and it was so long lasting that it was actually still going when I was taking it out of my warmers to put in silhouette because I was trying to warm through all of these before bring back my bar is over so that I could talk to my customers about it, right? But then woodland, uh, woodland suede was just too hard to follow up. It, it, it should not be the warm up act. It should be the headliner, okay? I thought that maybe that was the problem. I thought maybe just Woodland Suede was just outshining it. I put Woodland Suede in my warmers in my living room today. So I figured, okay, it's in a different room. It's not in the bedroom. It's in the living room. I got all the windows closed today, obviously, because I'm schwitzing, because it's hot outside. And... I did three and a half cubes in three warmers. So I took one of the cubes and I, I thirded it, if that's a word. No wind, lots of wax, no fresh air. I smell nada, nothing. So while I love Woodland Suede, I love Berry Cosmo Boogie. Rainbows and Butterflies is a great scent, but it's not extremely strong. And Silhouette, I don't smell a thing like kind of like nothing. I don't know if I got a bum bar or whatever, and I've said that 500 times. Anytime I don't smell something, I always say, I don't know if I got a bum bar. Bum as in like defective. That very rarely happens. Sensi's quality control is outstanding. So it might just be that my nose doesn't smell it. That really is a thing. Everybody's sniffer differs. I say that all the time. I should get that tattooed. Anyway, my name is Andrea. That's what I've been warming. That's some of what I've been warming this week. I've got to end this video because I've got to turn the air conditioner back on. I love you all. Please like and subscribe and turn on the notifications. And I'm not just saying that. I'm saying that because if I see that I don't have enough views, I might not make videos so, so often because they take a little bit of time, not a lot of time. I don't want you to feel guilty or anything like that. But um, if people aren't watching my videos, then there's no reason for me to do the videos because I'm on Facebook Live every day. I'm either on my public Facebook page, my personal Facebook page, my VIP group, my team um, coaching group. So there's not a huge reason for me to be on YouTube. So if you want me to continue to be on YouTube, you have to subscribe and you have to put on the notifications because that's how YouTube gets my videos around. I'm giving you guys a little bit of an explanation, a little bit of an education, education about YouTube. So if I don't get a lot of views, then I won't get a lot of views. That's the way YouTube kind of works. The more views you get, the more views you get. You know what I'm saying? Like the popular kids are always going to be the popular kids and the unpopular kids are always going to be the unpopular kids. So let's just make me the popular one. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.